She's a Mona Lisa. Hey guys, thank you for clicking this video. My name is Regine and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to show you how to make three easy, trendy summer tops and the first one is the ruffle crop top. In this project, I am using this gingham print blanket that I thrifted for 2 euros. I am now marking a 26 cm for the length and 102 for the width of the top. For the width, it is my bust measurement plus 20 cm. Double fold the bottom edge of the fabric and pin them. Then sew with straight stitch and do this on the front and back pieces. Take the rest of the fabric and make 3 rectangles with 3 cm, 6 cm and 10 cm length by 61 cm width. The measurement is half of your bust measurement plus 20 cm or longer to create a nice ruffle. Double fold the upper edge and sew it straight stitch. Do this in the 6 cm and 10 cm fabric. Do a zigzag stitch on one side of the 3 cm piece. For the ruffle, I just hand sew using a single thread. Make sure to leave extra thread on both sides, then pull the fabric slowly towards the center to create a ruffle. Lay the front piece of the top right side up and then lay the 10 cm piece and 6 cm piece on top of it facing right side up and then add the 3 cm fabric and lay it on the wrong side up. Pin them and sew with straight stitch. Lay the 3 cm fabric to the main body piece, creating a hole for the elastic and sew with straight stitch. Take the back piece and do a zigzag stitch, and then fold creating a hole for the elastic and then sew with straight stitch. Using a safety pin, loop the elastic on the hole and then sew the elastic. Sew with straight stitch and zigzag stitch for clean finish. From the bottom edge, I mark at 5 cm. Using an elastic thread, sew where the mark is. Make 4 rectangles for the straps. I want my straps to be really thin so the width is just 2 cm by 50 cm or longer. Lay the fabric right side together and then sew with straight stitch. Use a safety pin to turn the straps right side out. From the outside, I mark at 8 cm. Pin the strap where the mark is, and then sew with straight stitch. And here's the finished product. From a blanket to a cute and trendy ruffle crop top. I love how this turned out.
She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her you see you walking down the boulevard. The next one is the One Shoulder Ruffle Smock Top. Take any fabric of your choice. For me, I am using this piece of canvas that I got from the thrift store. I am marking a 26 cm for the length and 102 for the width. The measurement of the width is your bust size plus 20 cm. Double fold the edge and pin them, then sew with straight stitch. Do this on the upper and lower edges. Using the elastic thread, I am making my first line 1 cm from the edge. I place my second line 1 cm from the first. I did this until I reached the bottom edge. This is how it looks like after a couple of stitches. Then place the fabric right side together and then sew the edges with straight stitch and then zigzag stitch for a clean finish. Take the extra fabric, cut two rectangles with 4 cm by 80 cm and the other one is 12 cm by 105 cm. smaller rectangle and fold it right side together and then sew with straight stitch. Again, I use a safety pin to turn the fabric right side out. Take the bigger piece, sew the top and bottom edges with a zigzag stitch and then fold once and then sew with straight stitch. Using a needle, I hand sew with a single thread and I just made one line in the center of the fabric until I reached the other edge. Same on the first top, I just started pulling again to the center to create the ruffle. Lay the ruffle on top of the other fabric and then pin them. Take time to arrange the ruffle evenly and then sew with straight stitch. And here's the one shoulder ruffle smock top. I didn't sew the ruffle to the top so I can use this piece as a smock tube top or a one shoulder ruffle top. I love the ruffle design on this one, it just adds so much classiness to the top. I will definitely wear this for a night out with my girls. You find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard And our third top is the puff sleeve crop top. I am using my partner's old shirt in this project. The length for my top is 28 cm and the shirt by the way is a small so if you have a bigger shirt it would be better. shirt so it won't move when cutting. Project, you will need an uh, elastic band or garter. I am using a 20mm wide garter here 
and the length of the garter is just my upper bust and lower bust measurements. I just placed the garter on top of the fabric and just pinned them creating a hole for the garter. Using a safety pin, I just loop the garter on the hole and then sew the garter edges. Do this on the top and bottom part. fabric right side together and then sew the raw edges with a straight stitch and then zigzag stitch for a clean finish. I wanted to have a 3 4 sleeve so the measurement for my sleeve is 40 cm. You can make yours shorter or longer. Sew the upper edge with zigzag stitch. Lay a quarter of an inch wide garter and then pin the fabric creating a hole for the elastic band. Again, I just used a safety pin to loop the garter to the hole. The length of the elastic is my armhole measurement. And then I just sew the edges with straight stitch. Sew the bottom edge of the sleeve with zigzag stitch and then fold and sew with straight stitch. Fold the sleeve piece right side together and then sew with straight stitch and then zigzag stitch for a clean and professional look. For the bottom part, I am marking at 3 cm and then sewing an elastic thread there. And finally for the last part, I just attached the sleeves to the main body piece. And here's the finished product. From an old shirt to a trendy puff sleeve crop top. I love the color pink and the simple style. I like to wear this with a denim pants, layered necklace, and a gold hoop earrings. Yay guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye!